Moses, open the Red Sea. David defeated Goliath. The walls of Jericho collapsed. Many in the Bible overcame, and so can you. It seemed impossible for this person. Nothing is impossible for he who believes. Starting now, beyond living. It is now 8.30 a.m. and you will be with us until 9 a.m. You can prepare your cup or bottle of water for the moment of prayer. Hello my friends, a special good morning to all of you. This is your program Beyond Limits. A program that is always brought to you by the Universal Church of the Kingdom of God. And today, Monday, we are going to be making a very special prayer on your behalf very soon. Those of you who would like to speak to us, you can text, you can call, or you can WhatsApp to 389-9880 or 709-8062. And we are going to place your name for the prayer. Yes, that's right. We are going to be praying for you. But bear in mind that prayer alone cannot help you. You need to learn how to put these words into practice. And this is what we are going to be doing today. Helping you to put the word of God into practice in order for you to see great results in your life. We are going uh, to see the results that people have seen in their lives from the day from the moment they came and they learned how to put their faith into practice they have seen a lot of results we are going now uh, to some testimonies and very soon i'm going to pray for you my name is philippe gregor and prior to coming to the church my life was was a struggle i was confused um i didn't know what i wanted to do with my life I had, I had no job, I was constantly surging, I couldn't get a job, I was applying everywhere. Uh, str struggles that I faced was uh, a lot of financial problems, I, uh, I couldn't get a job, I was in school, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to major in. I had a couple ideas but I wasn't really sure which direction I wanted to head into as far as that. Um, my parents were struggling with rent bills being paid, stuff like that. But it was really hard for me to get a job at the time because the, the economy was economy was bad. A lot of people was being laid off. The last job I had, they had to do budget cuts. So I lost my job due to that. Um, and it was just hard at the time. The time span between me getting a job was approximately, I would say about, about two years. I didn't have a job before I started going to the Universal Church. I found out about the church through my mother. She invited me one day on a Friday and I attended and I've been going ever since pretty much. Um, since coming to the church, I've been keep making a chain of prayer. I've been attending the Mondays for financial praise. I've been attending the Friday, Friday services. Deliverance. I've been attending Sunday churches for spiritual empowerment, and since attending, I, I've seen nothing but but blessings in my family, my my spiritual life, my financial life has grown tremendously. My my vision for for the future. I know what I want to do now. Um, I'm more peaceful. I have more clarity as far as I want what I want to do with myself. Now today in my life, uh, it's, it's a blessing. Um, I started acting, I started modeling. I've hop, had an opportunity this year to do two commercials. I've done an AT&T commercial in, in June. And I've done, I shot a joint commercial. I'm getting more days at work. Um, I've done security for celebrities, from musicians to 
actors. I've, I've had an opportunity to play semi-pro basketball in the NBA. ABA. So it's, it's just been a constant blessing. It's just a lot of doors just been opened up for me. As long as you stay faithful with God, you know, he'll, he'll bless you. It's very simple to watch the Living Faith Network online. Visit watch.ulfn.org. On the page, click on the register option and fill out the on-screen form. You will also be required to confirm your account by email. Next, return to the watch.ulfn.org page. Once you are there, click on the option 24-hour stream. And there you go. Invest in your faith daily with live programs and testimonies that will prove to you that faith in action brings real results. Register today for free. All my life I've had a lot of financial problems. I know for a fact because a lot of issues that I had financially, I tried to move forward and no matter what I've done, I ended up 20 or 30 steps backwards. I know for a fact that my life was financially cursed. My name is Reginald, and I had a multitude of financial problems. I had, didn't have a place to stay, I didn't have a vehicle, I didn't have a job, and it seems like I, I had to move in with relatives to stay with them, because other than that, I would have been homeless. For years and years, it didn't seem, no matter what I do, did financially, it just was a disarray. One problem after another, one issue after another financially years after years after years. Living with parents and relatives were really kind of demeaning, and I did everything I could do financially to get a, a job. I had a good financial, I had a good educational background, so there wasn't any reason that I didn't have a job, so, but I didn't have one, I was cursed. No matter what financial issue I had, I always had some blockage in my life, just constantly taking me to a circle, always taking me back to the same beginning point financially, negative financial situa situation. Uh, for years and years, I struggled to try to get my situation back on, on track. And I was really kind of baffled because I had a great educational background, a college degree, finance, financial background. But it seems that no matter what I did, I just was cursed financially. When I came to the Universal Church, I was broken financially, spiritually, and just in circles, through prayer, through taking my problems to the altar, and constantly fighting, and through the teaching of the church, I've learned to be a much better person financially, spiritually, and I continue to fight and stay in faith. I had no place to go and nowhere to run, but I found a home, not only a home, but a new life through the Universal Church. I have become much better financially, I have a house now, I have a vehicle, and spiritually I am much better, thanks to the Universal Church. Now I can say I'm blessed and my family is blessed. No matter what I do, more and more blessings come. And now I know that the curse that I had financially has been broken. Gideon did like this, perdition. Those who are timid and afraid, fearful, you may go back, return. 22,000 said, I am fearful and afraid, and they returned. Is there a way for a person like this to make a difference? Is there a way for a person like this to prosper? But go and ask the 22,000, pay attention, go and ask the 22,000, do you want to stay in a palace, in a mansion? What will they say? If you ask them, do you want to eat well? What will they say? If you ask them, do you 
want to have the best of the land, what would they answer? If you ask them, do you want to be great? What would they answer? They would say yes. It's funny. To want it, everyone wants. But to be valid, to be courageous, to go to war, not everyone wants. Before I came to church, before I knew the faith, um, I was suffering from depression. There were those voices always speaking to me in my mind, saying that I should kill myself, I should kill my family, I should kill my dad, especially because um, I saw my mom suffering because of that. And um, I was just thinking to Killing everybody was going to be the end of everything. I was just feeling this emptiness, this emptiness inside of me that nothing and anything and nobody could feel it. But at a time, my mom already knew the church. She already knew the faith because when I first came to church, I wasn't obeying. I will, I will listen, but I will. I wouldn't do it what the pastor, what the man of God was saying. I thought our friends could fill me up. I thought our boyfriends could fill me up. I thought um, going to parties will um, help me feel that emptiness that I had inside of me. It took me long to accept that I'm only in Jesus Christ, giving my life to God, I will have an answer. I will have um, something that could fill my emptiness. Um, it's when I start listening what the man of God was saying. Gave my, I gave my all to God. I surrender. I surrender all myself to Jesus. And um, and then it was when I received the Holy Spirit. I was sure that I wasn't alone. That God, that God was there with me all the time. I just didn't realize it. I can go through situations that all the people could go through and they will just give up. But um, for me, there's nothing that I can overcome because I know God is with me. Return to me and I will return to you, says the Lord of hosts. Those of you who are faithful can present your first fruits and offerings and any other donation via online banking. To Republic Bank, to our account name, the Universal Church of the Kingdom of God, and our account number 340-8000-5348. Because God will not forget about those who have been faithful to Him. Praise God. Those are the results that people have seen in their lives. Because they have took a decision to come to the closest universal church of the kingdom of God to them. And once they learn from the pastor how to put their faith into action, they have seen great results in their finances. By the way, today, Monday, we are going to be now 10 o'clock in the morning here on the same altar. I'm going to be waiting for you. And also, 12 midday, 3 p.m., especially 5 p.m., the strong nation, and also half 6 in the evening. And in every universal church of the kingdom of God also, we are going to be helping you how to become prosperous and how to see the manifestation of God's power in your financial life. Just, my friend, take a decision. Take a step of faith. Because I do believe you are going to see great results. Very soon, I'm going to be praying for you. My water is ready. I have my water here with me, my bottle of water. You should prepare yours. Or if you cannot get a bottle, 
you can get a glass as well, a cup of water, and I'm going to be praying for you and sending to you this blessing very soon. Talking about blessing, see what the Bible says here in the book of Proverbs 23 from verse 6. The Bible says like this, Do not eat the bread of him who has an evil eye, neither desire his delicacies. So the very first instruction from God here is for us not to eat the bread of him that has an evil eye. And we cannot even desire his delicacies. But why? Why God is so concerned for us not to eat the bread of the one that has an evil eye? He says like this, For as he thinks in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, he says to you, but his heart is not with you. A lot of people, they have been under some kind of evil spell, some kind of curse, some kind of uh, some destructive problems because they have trusted people too much. Because they trusted the wrong person. And those that have an evil eye on other people's lives is never someone that is far. But why it is never someone that is far? Because for a person to have evil eye in the life of someone, it's because they know the person's life very well. They are very close. They are connected. They are acquainted. And when it happens, that person that seems to be friend, that seems to be very close, they are willing to do whatever it takes many times to take what the other friend has. To take away what the other person has. And maybe this is what is going on in your life. You have been doing well, you have been doing good to people, but in exchange of that, people they want to do evil against you. You do not understand why people have done such a thing against you and your family. But my friend, we have the solution for you. This Friday, when you come here to the church, I am going to bless you with this olive oil that we have been consecrating it in Moruga. By the way, you can follow us on the same YouTube channel. Midnight, midnight, Trinidad and Tobago time. Because at, at, mid, at every midnight shop, we are in Moruga making the prayer for God to consecrate this olive oil. Moruga, for so long, for so many years, we have seen Moruga as a place that people go to do obia, witchcraft against other people. But now we have gone to Moruga to undo whatever that was done against you. We have gone there to anoint this olive oil in order for you to be protected against this evil eye, against this jealousy. You are going to watch and see now people that once they came here to the church, before they were anointed, they were victim of witchcraft, obia, evil. But from the moment that they were anointed, they have received their deliverance. And this Friday, you are going to receive this special anointing. And I am sure that God will protect you. God will deliver you. There is no evil, there is no curse whatsoever that will be able to touch your life. Watch now, and very soon when I return, I'm going to pray on your behalf. By the way, my WhatsApp number is 389 9880 and also 709-8062. Give me a call, send me your WhatsApp because very soon I'm going to pray for you. Hello, my name is Cynthia Lowe and I'm 68 years old and I was a victim of generational curses and spiritual attacks for most of my life. One day I was sitting in my home and I used to see shadows in my house. I would look out the corner of my eye and I would see dark things 
or I would look around and see like something flitting past. And this had happened most of my life and most of my mother's life, so I thought it was normal. I knew it wasn't normal, but I didn't think there was anything I could do about it. And one day, a couple years ago, I had just become an ordained minister. And the problems got worse, not better. Before, when I would just see shadows in the corner, now I was seeing things clearly. I'm not talking about positive things. I'm talking about negative things. I was sitting in my living room and I was, the door was open to the upstairs room. I saw a dark figure of a man walk down the steps just as clearly as I can see Pastor here. That figure or that spirit walked down the steps and went to my front door. And I was sitting there and I said to myself, God, I need some help. Well, a few days later, I was at a restaurant, and as I was waiting for the order, I happened to look at the counter, and there was all these kicker cars advertising the Universal Church on Elmhurst in Detroit. And I said, well, that's a sign. God must want me to go there. And I came to the Universal Church, and I walked in the door. I heard what the pastor was talking about. I received the blessed water. I loved what I heard, and something resonated in me, and I kept coming. I also learned about generational curses because my mother was also affected with these spiritual attacks. Uh, in my mother's case, we kept committing her to mental institutions and it couldn't help her because her situation was not mental. It was spiritual. I would have realized there's no, there may be a generational curse, but it could be broken. It may be spiritual attacks, but they can be stopped. I'm wonderful now. I've had a wonderful experience in the church. When I came to the church, you know, I had, well, I'll never get married, but I have gotten married. Right here at this church, the Universal Church, and the spiritual attacks are gone. David had many enemies, but none prevail against him. For he was in close. For it is written, you have hedged me behind and before, and lay your hands upon me. On the other hand, many people are vulnerable to so many attacks from their enemies. Witchcraft, depression, and great financial failures. That's why we invite you to receive the real body closing with the oil that was blessed by the pastors and be victorious at 6 a.m., 10 a.m., 12 noon. 3 p.m., especially 5 p.m., and also 6.30 p.m. at number 40 South Key, Port of Spain, and all other Universal Church countrywide. Wear your mask. My name is Janessa Shaid Moreno. I've been through a lot. I've been abused. I have been neglected. I have been in depression. I've had jobs, I lose it. it things are real bad. Since this depression, I started bench eating. I started staying browsing on the net, talking to weird people. I reached a brink of sleepless nights. And that was the time when I said enough is enough. Enough is enough. Until I even tried to explain it to myself. I could do it on my own, do it on my own, do it on my own, but no. Even then, I used to feel like things choking me on my neck, and I did not know what it was. Well, the worst situation that I have faced was when things started to choke me. I would feel things like long witch fingers literally strangling me, and I didn't know what it was. I would be screaming, but no one will hear me. Things used to literally like grab my feet, grab my feet. And it's at a time I was standing up, and something will just pull me on that side. And it really played with my fear. I had a lot of fear, I had anxiety, until it used to interfere with my schoolwork. When I was in school, and as time goes by, it used to interfere with my job. It seems like the devil had it out so much for me, and I used to take out my frustration on my mother. Days I used to see my mom crying, but she may feel that I used to hate her, but no is what I was experiencing inside. So, I attended to the church that day. Everything that was going on in my life, the man of God, he said it. 
And I was like, wait, who tell this man what's going on with me? What, what's going on? And then I said, no, that problem didn't end right away because I was still holding on to things inside. So I went home. I still was depressed. However, I decided then and there, this have to done. Um, it was a Wednesday, I came, and I noticed that everyone was seeking the Holy Spirit, right? I didn't get him right away. I was on and on and on, depressed still. I was in and out of the church. However, since I become very serious, I, this, I started to sleep well. I decided, I, I, um, I started seeing improvement little by little. So, my life today is blessed, it is transformed. Though situations may occur, I have peace. I have come, guys, I can't explain how happy I am right now because Jesus Christ set me free from depression. He set me free from sleepless nights. He set me free from anxiety, fear. He set me free completely from things that will grab my foot. He set me free from witchcraft, obey, everything. I have to say, through the Universal Church, the work that goes on in it, really and truly the Holy Spirit is in this place. So guys, I will advise you, if you're suffering from anything, even worse, you could come. There is hope. Jesus Christ is here and he will set you free from all the anxieties and your, all the spirits of oppression. Praise God. So friend, those people that you have just watched, they were delivered. They were blessed. They have seen the manifestation of God's power in their lives. And you can see it as well. You just need to take a step of faith. Friday coming, leave your house. After work, instead for you to go liming, come to the church, come here. We are going to be waiting for you at number 40 South Key in the heart of Port of Spain. From here, I can see Seat Gate. When you come out of Seat Gate, you are going to look east. You are going to look to your right. That building that you can see there right now. You are going to look right and you can come around on the corner of South Key and Duncan Street is our entrance. If you are driving, you can drive. We have security guard. We have a closed gate compound. And you can come, you can take part of this special service for your protection and for the protection of your family. And uh, I do believe that whatever evil, whatever witchcraft, curses that has come down in your generation or that somebody has done and sent to your life this Friday, it's going to be broken and you will be protected in the second anointing for protection this Friday. So my friend, it's time now for the prayer. I would like you to hold your water in your hands. I have here mine. You can uh, have your water because I'm going to send this blessing to you. And also, I'm going to pray for Trinidad and Tobago. Today is election day, and we are going to be choosing today the 41 members of our parliament. And also, we are going to be voting for our prime minister. So, I would like to make a prayer as well for those of you that are going through so many problems and also for the nation because today is a very big day for Trinidad and Tobago. Let us talk to God now. Close your eyes if it is possible. My God, in the name of your son Jesus, I pray and I ask right now, my Father, for you to bless, for you to consecrate, for you to sanctify, my Lord, this water with your power. Because in the name of your son Jesus, when this person drinks of it, I am determined and I declare, my God, that your power is going to be manifested in this person's life. Those that, my God, they are sick, those that they have incurable disease, those who are going through financial problems, family problems, whatever problem this person might be going through, God help this person by delivering them.
when they drink of this water, I am determined and I declare, Holy Spirit, that my Father, they will be blessed. I also pray on behalf of Trinidad and Tobago, these twin islands, that today, my Father, we are in one of our greatest day in our democracy. Because, Lord, today people, they are going to the polling stations to vote for the members of the parliament and also for the prime minister. And I pray and I ask you, Lord, for you to give health, give strength, to Honorable Dr. Keith Rowley. Strength him because, my Lord, we still have a lot of work to be done in this country, in this nation. Father, I pray for you to help us to contain this virus. This virus that, Lord, has been spreading all over this nation. Lord, please plot protect us and bless us. Stop the violence that has been going on in this nation. As I have said before, for you to give my Lord strength to the Prime Minister, give to him long life and give to him knowledge and understanding to help us how to fight against, my God, this virus and also this violence that keeps increasing in this nation. I pray on behalf of Trinidad and Tobago, and I surrender this nation, this country, into your hands. In the name of the Father, the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. And those of you who believe, say, Amen. Amen. So, my friend, you may drink of your water now and be blessed. Praise God. I do believe that the power of the living God, my friend, will shine upon your life. Do not forget that this Friday on our Beyond Limit service, Beyond Limit service, 6 in the morning, 10 in the morning, midday, uh, midday, 3 p.m., 5 p.m. especially, and also half 6. We are going to be anointing you in our Beyond Limit service this Friday. Just like as it says here, my friend on my shirt, God said He's going to put Himself in front and behind you. And He's going to keep His hand on you. So this Friday, on the Beyond Limit service, God is going to be shielding you against all evil, against every curse, because they can even try to throw you, to cast you into the lion's den as they did with Daniel. But for sure, they won't succeed because God's protection is going to be upon you. I'm going now, but Pastor Junior is going to come up next with the miracle hour. And also, he's going to be praying on your behalf. Keep calling, keep texting, keep sending us your WhatsApp at 389-9880 and also 709-8062. And we are going to be praying for you. Have yourself a very blessed Monday. See you here in the Universal Church. You have been watching Beyond Limits.